Hello my YouTube fam! Thank you for coming back to my channel or landing here. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. This video is all about YouTube drama from the drama king himself and OG YouTuber Perez Hilton. I've been on this platform since 2006. Today I am talking about the very latest from Jeffree Star, Tana Mojo, Trisha Paytas, Elijah Daniel, and more. But I want to start off by talking about Shane Dawson. Shane just announced the subject of his next series of videos on YouTube. Jake Paul. <laughs> I have so many thoughts on this. First, the info. Shane released a teaser trailer for the series. The series will be premiering late September the 25th and I think it's really smart of him Shane to have chosen Jake Paul Jake Paul is very popular on YouTube that in it of itself is enough reason to make a video series on Jake Paul I am disappointed though because to me the TanaCon video series that he made was the best he's made this year. He elevated the bar for himself so much with that one. And then I was underwhelmed with the Jeffree Star series, but I gave it a shot. I watched, I think, three out of the four or five. I don't even remember. And now he's following up his Jeffree Star series with Jake Paul. Now, you don't get much out of the teaser trailer, I'm not gonna assume anything. I'm not assuming that Shane is gonna try to convince everybody that Jake Paul is amazing, that Jake Paul has heart and soul and depth. I just have zero interest in wasting my time watching a Jake Paul video. I will use Jake Paul and exploit his name for my own views. I will put him in a headline. I will talk about stupid crap he's done but he's not worth my time in consuming his video. I'd rather watch a Pee Wee Tom's video. I'd rather watch an old school Trisha Paytas video, which I did. I randomly watched this old video of Trisha talking about the scarring in her boobs and how she was asked to be on Botched and how she said no and blah, 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 blah. There are so many other YouTubers on this platform that I find compelling. And Jake Paul is not one of them. I've tried, I've repeatedly tried to watch Jake Paul videos. And I just cannot. I can't. Not for me. I'm clearly not his target audience. And that's fine. I'm disappointed. I'm underwhelmed. I think that it's smart of Shane to do this, but I also think that he's better than this. I think that there is so much more he could be doing on YouTube. But at the end of the day, let me break it down for you. At the end of the day, YouTube is all about money, right? And making good content, that's second. This series will make a lot of money for Shane Dawson and it will help him gain a lot of followers. So good on him. Please, please. If you're a Shane Dawson fan, which I am too, I like Shane Dawson a lot. I've loved his growth. I've loved the evolution of his content, but I'm not watching this series. Please don't tell me to give it a chance. Please don't tell me it's so good. He worked so hard on it. You should watch it for Shane. No, 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 no. I am not watching Jake Paul. I've said it before. I said it earlier, I tried, I've tried, I have watched Jake Paul videos. It pains me, it literally, actually, physically pains me to watch Jake Paul videos. I will not be watching this, but I wish him the best and I'm giving Shane and his new series publicity. And if there's anything really newsworthy that happens, newsworthy, anything really relevant, Maybe I'll watch a clip. Or heck, maybe I'll totally change my mind. I don't know. Maybe it'll be good to watch it and talk about it. Should I do that? Ugh. 
I just don't even know if I could, to be honest. At least with Jeffrey, I tried because I know Jeffrey. Jeffrey and I have a past, so I had a natural curiosity for it. With Jake Paul, I have zero curiosity. So yeah, I am taking taking what I said earlier and, and amending it in that, you know, screw it, I might change my mind. <laughs> Because the more I think about it, actually, I literally just thought, you know, it might be a good idea to actually review each episode. Or not. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. I'm just, I am disappointed. I'm disappointed. I wanted better and more and different. And, you know, yesterday on my family channel, I revealed at the end of my first meal in four days, I did a story time about a wild story that happened with Angeline, and I revealed a little story time about Chris Crocker, which I'll share very quickly now on this channel in case you didn't watch that. I reached out to Chris Crocker recently to collaborate. I wanted to make a really cool video series with him, really honestly inspired by the amazing work that Shane has been doing. He's make, made me want to step up my own game and try different things. And Chris said he was very flattered and he would think about it. He never got back to me. I'm not desperate. I'm not going to pursue it. The offer still stands, but even Chris, not even, um, I don't want to frame it. I don't want to say it that way. Chris Crocker would have been a much, to me, a much more compelling, fascinating series than Jake Paul. And I'm not being a hater, okay? It's going to do well. I mean, but just Jake Paul. I mean, it's, I also have the same issue with Jeffree Star. It's the Jimmy Fallon, Donald Trump thing. You're normalizing Jake Paul. You're making it cool to like him. You're drawing eyeballs and attention to him. Oh, well, let me move on because I don't want to get depressed over this. All right, an update on a story that I mentioned Actually, a couple of times recently, Tana Mojo, first of all, Tana revealed that she and Mac Miller had an affair. Mac Miller is a rapper who passed away recently of a suspected drug overdose. He also dated Ariana Grande for two plus years. Tana did not specify the time frame of when she dated Mac Miller. I recently asked her on Twitter if she would like to specify the time frame of when she and Mac were together, but she did not respond to that tweet. Very telling. Mm hmm She also um, alleged that the guy responsible for TanaCon is a P-E-D-O-P-H-I-E-L-E, -E, somebody who does inappropriate things with young children. And she's been on a roll recently. Tana now is apologizing for what she said about Mac Miller. This is the very latest. Tana's mea culpa. Tana says, I just want to apologize to anyone that was upset by my poster, took it the wrong way, bottom line. I love Malcolm so much. I never would have want anyone to think my intentions were anything but true. He was truly the only thing bringing me happiness in such a depressed part of my life. I looked up to him for years. He was my hero. Getting to know him changed my life. That is why I was so quick to share my personal love for him. I wanted to show you the perspective I saw from him. Human, not just an RIP post, not just a tweet and something everyone moves on from. I want him to be remembered for the incredible person he was, and I was sharing my experience. However, I can see how people could perceive that post differently, not knowing how close I was with him. And that breaks my heart, and I am sorry for that. It isn't about me. It never will be. It's about Malcolm James McCormick and how fucking incredible he was. I was seeing somebody post dehumanizing him. He was just an ex or unhappy. He was human. He was happy. He was excited for tour. He was excited to shoot that music video. He was excited for life. I just want anyone who sees this to know how much I loved him and how heartbroken I am. I am sorry to anyone. I'm upset because that was truly my last intention. 
I wasn't doing that for attention. I was trying to tell you how much I loved him, but I understand how it could have been perceived differently. And again, I'm sorry, but there's no affair of or any of those crazy allegations. Just someone I spent all of my time with for a while lately, consumed and talking to and loving. But I'm truly sorry if anything I said painted a different picture. All I want for him is rest and peace. Rest and peace, Malcolm, the truest goat. Ladies and gentlemen, that was my best Tana Mojo. Damn, that was really good. Woo! That was good. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving on. Let's go back on the disappointment train for a second. Earlier this week, I posted a video where I was talking about how I was loving and love and support Trisha Paytas. Well, Trisha has announced that she's got new music coming out, a new album that comes out this November. <laughs> However, she's also revealed that she has a collaboration with Jeffree Star on there. Uh, disappointing, but I get it. I understand it. <sighs> Do you, Trish? Do you, Trish? November 13th, mark your calendars for new music from Trisha Paytas. I gotta give her major props, though, because I think she, self, she clearly self-finances all of this, and it's not cheap. A label has not signed to Trisha Paytas, and that's not a diss towards her. I love my Trish. Also, this is great for Elijah Daniel. He's currently on tour, if you guys didn't know that. If you're not paying close attention to him since his split with Christine Sedelko, Elijah is rebranded as a white boy rapper, and he's on tour right now, and he's going to play in Kansas, and the Westboro Baptist Church has announced that they are picketing, protesting his show in Kansas. I have something in my teeth. So happy to be eating food again. Anyways, um, this is awesome for him. I wish that the Westboro pa Baptist Church picketed or protested something of mine. Elijah's like me in many ways. Any press is good press, right? <sighs> and let's end things on some bittersweet news. It's sad, but also um, nice that Claire Wineland will be remembered. I want to get this person's name right. I'm sure a lot of you know that Claire was a creator, beloved in the YouTube community. This Oscar-winning producer, Oscar-winning director, Nicholas Reed, who produced the Oscar-winning film The Lady in Number Six, Music Saved My Life, is working on a documentary about Claire Wineland, who passed away of uh, cystic, cystic fibrosis. So um, her story will continue to help others, in addition to the foundation that Claire started. And um, yeah, yeah. One last thing. The video that I posted earlier today about September 11th, it also got me thinking about Ariana Grande, actually. Because so much of our world today, now, is a social world, living in social media, and if it's not on social media, is it even real? Before Ariana posted a photo of Mac Miller as her tribute to him, I got into a heated discussion, argument, disagreement with a friend of mine over that. It was before she posted it, and I said she didn't need to. And my friend said, yes, she dated him for over two years. She needs to post something about him. And I'm like, why? Why? Maybe she's really grieving. Maybe she wants to keep this private. Maybe she doesn't want to turn it into a head. Like, why does Ariana need to comment on Mac passing? Just like, why do people need to post about September 11th to uh, just a photo and, 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 and broken heart emoji to... To, to show sympathy or, or 
I love social media, but I also hate it at the same time. I'm honest about that. I'm sure many of you have the same love-hate relationship with it too. Anyways, that's that. This was a trip. <laughs> I love you. I know I uh, post a lot of videos on here from my podcast clips to all sorts of things. So I thank you for watching all my vids. I thank you for watching till the end. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet. Please subscribe to my family personal channel. Please follow me on Instagram, on Tumblr, listen to my podcast. The podcast comes out tomorrow and it's going to be extra juicy. We go in on Cardi B and Nicki Minaj, Serena Williams, lots of stuff. All right. Share this video, leave a comment. You know the drill. I love you. You are amazing. She's gagging. She's gagging! <laughs>